Putin will surround US with nukes. A new Caribbean crisis is emerging. A Russian nuclear-powered submarine will make a stop in Havana next week, the Cuban authorities announced. The nuclear submarine, Kazan, and three other Russian naval vessels, including the missile frigate Admiral Goshkov, an oil tanker and a salvage tug, will dock in the Cuban capital on June the 12th to the 17th, Cuba's Ministry of the Revolutionary Armed Forces said in a statement. None of the vessels are carrying nuclear weapons, so their stopover in our country does not represent a threat to the region, the ministry added. The surprise deployment of the Russian military so close to the United States comes amid major tensions over the war in Ukraine already in its third year. Cuban President Miguel Diaz-Canel met with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin last month for the annual May the 9th Victory Day Parade on Red Square. During the Cold War, Cuba was an important client state for the Soviet Union. The deployment of Soviet nuclear missile sites on the island triggered the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 when Washington and Moscow came close to war. Relations between Russia and Cuba have strengthened since a 2022 meeting between Diaz-Canel and Putin. Recently, the Russian leader hinted at arming Western adversaries in response to NATO allies supplying Ukraine with arms that could reach Russian soil. Putin told reporters, if they consider it possible to deliver such weapons to the combat zone to launch strikes on our territory and create problems for us, why don't we have the right to supply weapons of the same type to some regions of the world where they can strike to be used to launch strikes on sensitive facilities of the countries that do it to Russia. We will think about it. Defense expert Nicholas Drummond conveyed to the Express. His belief that Putin's words echo the perilous brinkmanship of the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis, which nearly tipped the world into nuclear war. Drummond explained, he is threatening a sort of Cuban Missile Crisis too, where you have tactical cruise missiles, nuclear weapons, and weapons of mass destruction placed in places where we would not like them. A lot depends on what those weapons are and where they come from. Russia's stocks of tactical cruise missiles are vastly reduced. Putin starts wearing bulletproof vest at public events. Ukrainian drones make a risk for him. The Moscow Times writes that Kremlin leader Vladimir Putin began wearing a bulletproof vest at public events in 2023 on the recommendation of the Federal Security Service. An unnamed Russian official has told the newspaper that Putin was wearing a concealed bulletproof vest on the 9th of May this year. The Kremlin, already on heightened security alert due to its invasion of Ukraine, has been rattled by recent attacks on high-ranking politicians in Europe and Asia and has stepped up Putin's security in response. The Kremlin takes Vladimir Putin's security very seriously. He is protected by a whole army of visible and invisible guards. A Russian official who attended the Victory Day Parade on May the 9th told the Moscow Times. He, like all Russian sources interviewed for this story, spoke to the Moscow Times on condition of anonymity due to the sensitivity of the matter. Among the risk factors for the Kremlin are the International Criminal Court's arrest warrant for Putin on war crimes charges, as well as the risk of Ukrainian drone and sabotage attacks and attacks by Islamist radicals. A second official said he added that the Kremlin was on especially high alert following the 2020 assassination of Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and last month's attempt on Slovakian Prime Minister Robert Fico's life. The Kremlin has publicly said that there was no need to increase its security. Security measures are at the standard level. We are doing everything that needs to be done to ensure the president's security, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters in May following the assassination attempt on FICO. In reality, the special services control practically every aspect of Putin's life, down to testing all of his meals for poison using a portable lab, a source close to the Kremlin said. The president has personal chefs who always travel with him. Groceries are brought with him too. The source told the Moscow Times, but even then there is always a special group of officers traveling with Putin who check all the meals before Putin gets to them. Putin has been wearing body armor at public outdoor events, including in Moscow, since at least 2023. The two Russian officials who have seen Putin in person during several of those appearances told the Moscow Times. British security consultant Jade Miller has explained to journalists that judging by the fact that Putin walks rather stiffly and his coat does not show natural creases when he walks, 
it can be concluded that the Russian leader may be wearing a bulletproof vest. Putin also visibly lifts and adjusts his shoulders, which indicates discomfort with the vest.